this is another Sephora Play Unboxing. Uh, so welcome to my channel. This is Ruby Soho XX, or should I say Angela, because that's my real name. Um, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please like my video. I never know what to really say in the beginning of these videos, but uh, it's a Sephora Play Unboxing. If you like it, like the video. If you like my page, subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Ruby Soho XX, diving right in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, Sephora Play box. I went ahead and slid it open before the video because uh, I didn't want to go through that here. Um, I already kind of know what's in my box because of the email you get, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive in. Um, so the first thing that is on the top of your box and is the re it's a really important thing is this uh, little black and white card that says play on it. Um, you're supposed to take this to Sephora. It's your play pass. And you're supposed to, anytime you, or when you purchase something the next time at Sephora, you take this, they scan it, and then they add the points to your already points, accumulated points that you have. So you get 50 points each card, which I think is awesome. Um, so October, which I haven't gone to scan yet, I need to, even, so I need to do that. But I'll have 100 points. So that's cool, because I'll have 50 for that one, 50 for October. Um, the next thing you get in the box is this really cute pamphlet. Um, the other box had one too. I really like it um, because it, it's really informative and gives you like in, like a lot of information about all the products. Um, so it says November 2016, Best in Glow. Uh, stellar products are only the beginning. And then it says take the Sephora play card to Sephora. So it looks like this box is all about glowing and I love that because I'm really into highlighting lately and sparkle and glowing because it's you know holidays is coming up and all that good stuff so these are all the things that are in my box again i really like this because it's organized and it tells you everything that's in the box and information about it so that's really cool this is what i'll be reading off of because i don't really know what's in my like what products i have in here uh, and then of course you get the little baggie which i think is really cute I had an impromptu trip to Texas a few weeks ago. Um, I had to fly out, and I actually used my October little baggie to put my um, my like facial stuff in. So like I just took like I'll just show you, um, just like little things like this, like my Lemire like lotion, like little things like that, and I just stuck them in my little bag, and they were all nice and neat together when I got to the air uh, to my hotel, and I didn't have to like search through everything looking for them because everything was in this little baggie. So I thought that was really cute and handy. Um, and now I feel like I can use these for a lot of different things. Um, it's just like a cotton knit, or I think it's just a knit, like a knit bag, like just a regular cotton. I don't know what material this is, but uh, yeah, you feel me. It's a good bag. So uh, then, let's see. The first thing I have in here is Replica, or by Replica. It's like falling out. And I guess the brand is Replica, and it says reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. Okay, so it's pretty cute. It says this month's perfume pick is a kiss in a bottle. Uh, Mason Margelia, or Margelia, Replica Lipstick On. Intimate and sophisticated, this delicate fragrance evokes the airy, powder, powdery scent of vintage makeup. That's cool. Um, I'm I'm sick, by the way, so I do sound. Oh, I'm like flicking everybody off right now. Didn't mean to do that. Um, I am sick, so I really sound nasally, and if I cough a lot, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, so it says about the brand. It's crafted by the hot couture and ready to wear Parisian f fashion house. Um, meet the blend, powdery and floral. Top notes are Hellotrope. Neroli and bergamot. Middle notes are orange blossom, iris, and galbanium. Base notes are tonka bean, bourbon, vanilla, and patchouli. You can take lipstick on or any of your favorite scents in an entirely different direction by layering it with blur or glow. The new fragrance filters from the same brand. So that's really cool. Um, something different. I already have to cough. Like being sick sucks. And I think I say that a lot in another video, but anyways, so that's really cool. I'm going to see what it smells like. I'm just going to put some on my wrist and I'm sick. So I really can't smell really well. It does smell vintage. It smells like a vintage lipstick. That's really weird. It smells like the vintage lipsticks that my grandma used to wear. And I kind of like it. <laughs> okay. So the next thing in this box is Caudalie. That's a really good brand. Uh, my friend Robert just got me into this brand not too long ago. This is Vino Source uh, Moisturizing Sorbet. Okay. 
can hear my stuffy nose. It's gross. It smells pretty good. It looks like it's just a cream. Oh, that smells really good. It's nice and fresh and clean. Like a clean scent. And it says, hooray for sorbet. Okay. Caudalie, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Venusaurce moisturizing sorbet. It's rejuvenating and lightweight. Luscious gel cream hydrates. It's a gel cream. I like those. Um, hydrates and softens skins while visibly calming redness and congestion. Um, hailing from the wine growing region of Bordeaux, France, Caudalie's luxurious skincare collection is powered by the potent anti antioxidants that naturally occur in grape vines. It's the perfect ingredient for luminous, healthy looking skin. Cool. So it says, you know, just put it on uh, for, for irritating in the night or the, or the evening. So that's really cool. It has grape seed, organic grape water. So I know they have a grape water spray. So I guess that kind of goes with that. But that's really cool. I like the packaging. It's really cute. Um, really cute. I really like that. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next thing in my bag. Yes, this is what I was really excited for because I love Glam Glow. Um, I actually have the mask right here. Um, the original mask, I think. Uh, it's just like the mud one. And I'm pretty much like completely, like I have like a little bit left. Um, but I really love that mask. It's done wonders for my face. I love it. So I wanted to try this one. And this is the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. And right now, because it's winter and it's winter is coming and it's getting cold, I'm looking for anything hydrating. So that's really cool. Okay, that looks it's really nice. I like that it's foiled, sealed, so I know nobody was tampering with it. <laughs> but it says, thirst things first. This is the packaging. It's really cute. I love it. Um, it says, hydrating mask moisturizes, calm skin for a dewy petal soft complexion. The way it glows. So it's going to tell you how it glows. I'm, getting, I'm seeing that theme. Treat your skin to a red carpet original, the first Glam Glow mask where hand... Glam Glow masks were handpicked by brands, co-founders, and sent to high-profile actors and actresses in plain, unmarked containers. The fast-acting, radiance-boosting treatments quickly became a Hollywood insider favorite. So this is a leave-on for 10 to 20 minutes, apply an even layer, uh, wiping off excess, massage remaining product into skin, um, rinse away with water, use one to two times per week like normal masks. Um, but it says a potent blend of skin softening it has acid in it hyaluronic hyaluronic acid and citric acid okay and it says in the morning no need to wash it off in the morning so soak it apply a thin layer before bedtime and let it soak into to your skin overnight no need to wash off in the morning okay that's weird i could try that that's cool see i like those little pro tips they're really cool so didn't want this video to be long but it's already at eight minutes because i'm a talkative person um, I think I have glitter in my hair and on my forehead. Sweet. Okay, so the next thing I'm picking up here is Laura Mer Mercier. Mer I can never say these names. Laura Mercier. There we go. And it looks like a go for the rose gold. And I'm really into rose gold lately, like a lot. I really love that color. Uh, Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color. Oh, I've heard of these. This one's in rose gold. Multi-purpose high pigment eyeshadow stick. Glides on them and blends easily for transfer proof all day wear. And you just pretty much put it on your eyes. Or that's probably what I'll use it for. That's really pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. Really pretty. It's the rose gold color. It's really nice. That's what it looks like in the packaging. It's really cute. Just like a little little stick and you can use it for a bunch of different things so I'll probably use it for my eyes as eyelid primer or like you know before I put on my actual eyeshadow and then so I think I have two things left yes put the bag over here I have this cover fx illuminating primer base so that is that and this is glow inducing silicone free primer it preps skin with a light reflecting mineral complex and helps eliminate dullness Okay, so it says use a br brush or your fingers to blend a small size before putting on makeup. And it's supposed to make you illuminate and glow and be just a glow disco ball of amazing amazingness. The last thing I have here is Kiss and Gel uh, Sephora Collection. Okay, and it says Ultra Shine Lip Gel in Pin Up Pink. Um, hydrating glossy lip gel visibly plumps lips with a lustrous sheen and always flattening hot pink hue, which I don't really usually wear a lot of hot pink. Um, wear, wear it your way. 
So swiped on bare lips, layered with, with lipstick. Okay, so it, that's cool. I can't open it. I can still smell that perfume that smells like vintage lipstick and I like it. Like I like it a lot. Like it smells really good. And I wish I could open this so I could swatch it on my hand and see what it looks like. Ugh, it's not wanting to open. Jeez, they make this really hard, don't they? There's probably like a really easy way to open it, but I'm like, I like don't know how to do that. Can I just like twist it? Oh, <laughs> you can just twist it. I don't know why I made that a song. Okay, so let me see what this looks like. Because I usually don't wear hot pink. Where could I put this here? Okay, it's like a gel. Well, obviously, because it says kiss and gel. It's a gel formula. It seems really hydrating, and I really like the paddle or, like, the little brush. I feel like that would go, that would, you would get really good lip coverage. But that's pretty much the color for that. It's just, like, a hot pink. But it's not super, like, obnoxious hot pink. It's, like, all over my hand, though. But, yeah, it's not, like, obnoxious or anything. It's, like, a nice, a nice hot pink. Okay, I could definitely wear that. Um, so yeah, that was everything in my bag or in my box. Uh, so I'm really, really, really happy with Sephora Play. Every box that I've gotten so far, which was the October one and this one, have been amazing. Come here. Come here, Bubba. This is my kitty cat. Say hi. Hi, Lupin. Say hi. She's like, why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> so anyways, every box that I've gotten from Sephora has been really, really good so far. I can't wait for the December one. It just makes me really excited for the December one. Every product is usable and good, and I love it, and it's awesome. So yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe. Oh, she's, oh God, <laughs> she just knocked over the Sephora play box. Bye. That's my cat Lupin, by the way. Um, anyway, so if you like this video, please uh Thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, do everything that you need to do, and I'll see you next time. Uh, bye.